Hello, I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. And I was actually here first, Steve. <sighs> anyway, if you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete <laughs> meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for daily updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. Thanks so much for joining us on our Keto Chat. There you go. Yeah, so Steve got on early and he's like, I got on here 40 minutes early just so I could say first. First! Mm -hmm. All right, my job, my, my work my here is, is done. done. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, let's see, we've got Betsy. I uh, wanted to know if Steve was going to tell everybody what the secret flavor is he's working on. Oh. Steve, this is why we don't talk about flavor development. Because <laughs> 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 and, and all people can I do is ask that about video it. Yet. Oh, you haven't? Mm -mm. Oh, it's good. I, I'm very behind okay. on YouTube watching. <laughs> anyway, Jerry's here. Um, so is Marcy. Um, let's see. Uh, Lori says, good morning, peeps. Happy Friday. Carrie says, hello, everyone. Hello. Betsy says, Chris, would you mind explaining your way to do passwords? I'm actually going to write a blog post about it if I can get around to it today or tomorrow. Yeah. Um, it, it, the, the, what you really want to do is use two-factor authentication. And there is a, a website called XKCD mm -hmm. Password Generator. That'll um, it'll put four random words together for you. Yep. Or so. you can think of them on your own. Or you can, although then it's likely to be something that people could try to figure out what you might have been thinking about. Yeah, like mountains and football and <laughs> shoes and home. I mean, you mountains, know. football, shoes, home. Becca says, good morning all. I almost forgot about this. Got involved in my book again. Stoang is here. Aww. Carrie says the I'm hamburger was a book to read. so was so looking sad at fries. Oh yeah, because it's a Friday. There you uh -huh. go. Uh, let's see, Carrie. Um, JC Bean says, good morning. Um, Stuong says, I have no idea why, but when I watched your video, I thought horchata is the new keto chow flavor. A whole <laughs> bunch of people in the comments asked him if oh, it was horchata. Uh, let's see, Sky says, good morning to all the early birds. Yeah, we, di we actually did try a flavor of keto chow that was, um, what are those long things called that you get at the fair? Churros. Churro? Yeah. It was a churro flavor, and it tasted exactly the same as Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Yep. Like exactly the same. So we could just put another label on the bag and say, churro, and people would be like, oh, yeah, it totally is. Anyway, Lori says peppermint would be awesome, or chocolate cherry. Yeah. You can add cherry to the chocolate, and it mm -hmm. tastes fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Red White says, good morning, chow heads. Um, from... From Valley, Nebraska? That sounds like a made-up name. <laughs> <laughs> All names are made up. Chris. That's right. Uh, let's see, Betsy says this is my favorite time. Esther is here. Good morning. Lori says, even when Good I get morning. on early, it seems I somehow miss the beginning. Um, let's see. Um, Dennis said, told Serious Kid, I enjoyed your tuna and crab chaffle video. Hmm. It's a uh, chaffle for Lent, he said. Oh, I saw that this yep. morning. And then, uh, where was it? Um, Steve said, every time I make a chaffle, and it's been a while, I wonder why I don't make them every day. See, you're doing it wrong. When we make chaffles, we make chaffles. Like, we'll make, yeah. I don't know, like three dozen eggs worth. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then we, we freeze really them. go crazy. And then they're they great. Get, half of them get eaten, and then we freeze the rest, and then they just get eaten over the days. That's right. In fact, I think all the Valentine's ones are gone. Well, we still have some of the one, the savory, savory chicken ones. soup with um, pork. pork sausage in that it. That was really good. That was really good. Mimi says, good morning, Keto Chef fam. Thanks goodness it's Friday. Yeah. Lance says, good morning from the super cool Keto Chef storefront. Carrie says, good morning, Chris and Miriam. Good morning. Uh, let's see, Virginia. Oh, yes, Virginia was on already also. Says, good morning, all. Hi, Virginia. Lady says, happy Friday. Rick Wynn is here. So is Maya. Esther says, I'm going to travel to see my kids in June and to replenish my Keto Chef. Yes. Susan is here as well. Um, ba -ba -ba. Did you Suzanne. say Susan or Suzanne? Susan. Okay, Susan is here. Yeah, okay. Susan B16. Right. Suzanne, is uh, here. Suzanne is here as well. 
So is Shauna. Good morning, Chris and Miriam. Happy Friday. Lotus Blossom is here again. Hi. Hello. Uh, Becca says, my Innova Precision Oven was just delivered. I'm excited nice. to get it set up. That's so cool. And speaking of stuff, Lisa says, my creamy is finally out for delivery today. Yeah, hey, Lisa. Good luck. Granny is here. So is Kathy. He says, hey, yo, just stopping by to say howdy as I dash off to make the Warden's lunch. You're nice. hustling. Awesome. Uh, did you get those microphones figured out, Heath? You should do a test run. Test, see test. See if it works. Test. Uh, Carrie says, I use LastPass to generate my strong passwords. That's awesome. a, a good way to do it. That's great. Shoshana says, you know how you can pick a surprise flavor packet in the MyChow box? It would be awesome if MyChow had an option for a surprise savory flavor oh, packet. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. I don't know that we've ruled out putting savory flavors into mm -hmm. the surprise. I don't know. I think the problem is a lot of the savory flavors are stock on the, the packets. is getting yes, a little low. Yes, they're a little low. We did um, have one in the surprise uh, in the, yeah, well, in the Mai Ch Chow Surprise Kit, um, ah, it had the true. savory chicken soup. Mm -hmm. So I says I can do my eggs today so I can do scrambled egg pudding with chocolate peanut butter kyo Nice. Donna says, so now that Irish cream and caramel macchiato has a bit of coffee in it, do you guys test the flavor? Yeah, well, I haven't tested the flavor since then, yeah. um, but I'll just test it the same way I test the uh, mocha, which is I swish it around and spit it spit out. Spit it out. But in theory, the next batch of test flavors I'm getting on both of those won't have actual coffee in it. Which, it's in so theory. silly that it has actual coffee in it because the amount that's in it is insanely so small. So small. Um, there's fewer than four milligrams of actual coffee in the caramel macchiato. It's like, why did you even include it? Like, what was the point of including that in there, guys? So you could say natural flavors. I guess so. Anyway, Beach Sue says, good morning. I made kio chow ch the kio chow chili recipe using the tomato basil kio chow. Nice. So delicious. Even better as leftovers. That's awesome. Um, I pointed out to Kate last night that we have a lot of food in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Like the chili. We have a lot of that in there as well. Rick Wynn says, when I was a security officer, I had to tell people to make up passwords. Uh, some of them would choose Bible verses as it was something they would remember. First letter, each word. Mm. That could be a way to do it. Uh, John posted the video where uh, the where we talked about passwords. Oh, cool. Uh, Esther says, getting a second job to save money to travel to my granddaughter's graduation. Then to replenish my QHS spot. Nice. nice. Um, Kendra says, I have rolling R envy. Arr. I, how long did I practice? I would sit there for hours <laughs> in high school <laughs> trying to say, ruffles have ridges but uh it wasn't until i got to south america that i really got good at got it. good at it so long says if not horchata maybe cinnamon roll mm -hmm. we we had cinnamon bun once we did well it was the, the diametized flavor and it was terrible but you liked it i didn't like oh it. i did not like it yes, the cinnamon bun i hated it then why did we have it because it was one of the flavor options no, you it liked was this, it. No, I did not. Don't tell me what I liked. <laughs> you liked it. <laughs> Jesus, good morning, everyone. Thank goodness it's Friday. Seriously, I'm so glad it's Friday. Uh, my sis, Miriam, I love your earrings. Oh, thank you. Susan says, Valley, Nebraska is just outside of Omaha. Oh, okay. Nice. Did not know that. Uh, Blue says, morning, chow hounds. Going to make an attempt at Joe's Ray Green Chili today. A uh, Joe Ray's Green Chili today. Nice. Oh, okay. That'll be fun. I haven't seen Joe Ray for a while. Yeah. Uh, Dips says, hi, Keto Chow. Peeps. Um, Serious Keto says, regarding bulk chaffle making, I don't have a dozen kids like you guys. No, we have a half dozen That's kids. Right. <laughs> it does feel like a dozen sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, it, when well, friends over. every That's once in a while, lot. you get one of the kids that's like, and I'm going to eat everything. Um, Dennis says, an excellent morning to Chris and Miriam along with the entire Keto Chow family. So mm. who's going to Keto Salt Lake? I am. Me. I'm he, going. He bought his ticket yesterday. Nice. Uh, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Suzanne says, I love tuna truffles. We could totally make tuna truffles today. Yeah, that sounds yummy. Uh, Nancy says, good morning from the chilly state of Wisconsin. Ah, cold there. Uh, Jennifer says, good morning. Husband and I are thinking about doing a road trip to Homestead for a dive in the... Oh, to Homestead for a dive in the Creator. In the crater. In the creator. No, she's talking about the homestead, yeah. the Zermatt Resort in 
where we're going to do our scuba yeah, certification. Yeah, we are going to be doing our scuba certification in April? early. Uh, yeah, it's in April. I got to get my homework done. It's the week before Keto Salt Lake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Pamela says good morning. Um, let's see. Might have missed something. Kinder says I have all the accoutrements to store truffles and don't like them stored. Ah, uh, really? that's okay. May says good morning. Does Keto Chow have a cinnamon roll? No, it doesn't. Keto Chow cinnamon roll mug cake sounds amazing, but you can use yes. the vanilla or the um, snickerdoodle to do that. Yeah. Add more cinnamon. We have Pamela a lot says, of mug cake recipes. Too. Yes, we do. Pamela says I made red licorice pudding this morning. Can't wait to try it. Uh, Lisa says, I would uh, like a savory surprise. Yum. Cat Claus says, good morning. Almost out of our keto chow. I hope my the my chow surprise gets here soon. Nice. Uh, Gina says, can you say what the 60 my chow surprise box flavors are? I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't um, You can reference Serious Keto's video with the 30 or mm -hmm. Too Crazy Keto's video with the 30. The 60 has that plus other stuff. Yep. But off the top of my head, I don't keep tra track of that because we'll it's not it a, in spreadsheet a spreadsheet somewhere. Sheet. Yep. So here, I don't remember phone numbers anymore because I have a device that remembers those. I also don't manufacture my own vitamin C. I have lower life forms to do that for me. Okay. And so if there is something, if, if I write something down, I remember where it is, and it's like I delete those neurons. It's gone. It's gone. Just, I don't even bother. When's our like, anniversary? Oh, well, that's May 6th. Are you sure? It's the day after Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. Cinco de Cuatro. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's something that I need to remember because I didn't write it down in somewhere where it's a big thing. Anyway, so I, I have no idea. Actually, yeah, I don't even remember who won the Super Bowl. Um, I can't remember if it was the Bengals or the Rams because it has gone out of my head. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> we were there. Sean says, I was sorting paper yesterday and found the 26 picture noted from Keto Chow Packers. Oh, nice. Nice. Mimi says, how much Keto Chow do you put in the egg pudding? One serving for 10 eggs? I th that's usually what I put in there. Esther says, I had mocha for the first time today and it was delicious. Nice. Uh, Virginia says, uh, Virginia says, I know Keto Chow was created there. Is it manufactured in Utah as well? Yep. Yeah, we have, it's manufactured in, at a uh, FDA approved CGMP certified facility. Um, co-packing facility in Spanish Fork, Utah. Yeah, it's really huge. I still haven't been there. I've only been in the reception area. Mm. They, they don't let you back into the back. Um, we need to have, um, we need to finish doing that, our story video. We had uh, Ben put together a short version of like behind the scenes at Keto Chow, but mm -hmm. we need to. Hmm. Ren says petition for a Red Hots flavor. Uh, I don't know that we're ever going to be doing that because, well, I guess red licorice is pretty uh, esoteric too. But So Marie came in yesterday uh -huh. with cinnamon bears. Yep, I just, I just ate one. Oh, you have some still? No. I had oh, one. Sad. I grabbed two. I grabbed two and <laughs> ate them right away. Anyway, but she made them with, with vanilla keto chow and cinnamon oil. So mm -hmm. add cinnamon oil to keto chow. Yeah, that it was really, really good. good. Uh, let's see. Kendra says in the 70s it was Vogue to take French. Vogue, 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 Vogue. So this is completely off subject, but our kids, we, we were in the process of moving, but we got notified by the school that we were moving away from that they were going to be starting a language immersion program yeah. with French. Was it French? Yeah, and they were like, oh, it's what the Olympics are done in. And I'm like, no, the Olympics are done in English and French and whatever language the country um, hosting it is. I'm like, if you're going to do an, um, an immersion program where basically they teach a bunch of the classes in a foreign language mm -hmm. to the kids when they're young enough to be able to pick it up. Really, really cool, cool. idea. Uh, people in other countries have been doing it for years. Oh, yeah. We just are late to the party. But if you're going to be doing an immersion program, you do it in either Spanish or Chinese. You don't do it in French. Let's be honest here. Our kids couldn't participate anyway because they're too far above. So they yeah, were too. going to be in second grade, and you could only start it in first grade. Oh, okay. Sean says, keep us out like in 42 days. Yeah. Um, oh, 
Wow, Deb had a stroke after the COVID vaccine, living on keto chow now. Well, I'm oh glad that that's working I'm for sorry, you. Sorry, Deb. Wow. Um, let's see, Becca says, I just figured out the apple pie keto chow reminds me of. It tastes like the Jiffy Mix apple cinnamon muffin oh. mix. Yeah. Lori says, tuna chaffle. Yeah, uh, tu serious keto on his uh, YouTube channel mm -hmm. has a video about, it says, a chaffle, chaffle for, for Lent. Lent. And it has tuna fish and avocado. Avocado. Avocado is delicious. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, he says, thanks again for the mics. I had them charging since last night and plan to do a practice run this afternoon. Nice. And don't forget, anything that can go wrong will go wrong during a live stream. That's what always happens. Exchange students says, I had a raspberry cheesecake made with cream cheese yesterday. I could eat that every day for the rest of my life. Miriam's gone. Real life <laughs> heroes don't always wear capes. <laughs> Sorry. Bob my back. Uh, let's see. Um, I get Jerry's here. Sirius Keo says, nice Arrested Development reference, Chris. Absolutely. <laughs> says, there was a Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was the Rams? Sure. We were there. We watched it. <laughs> Don't forget, there's always money in the banana stand. I mean, we weren't there. We were in our living room. <laughs> I immediately regret my decision. Anyway, Dorothy <laughs> says, good morning. I did make the dark chocolate raspberry fudge last night. Nice. Had to make it with a hand mixer and drop the beaters on the floor. Floor. No. Shauna made that joke. Somebody, uh, we have a post about dirt, uh, dirty keto, uh -huh. and Shauna said, "Dirty keto is when you drop your steak on the floor." <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Jerry says, "I have a little sausage links in the crock pot with sweet baby Ray's zero sugar barbecue sauce. Nice. Add a little extra garlic powder. Can never have enough garlic. I'm getting hangry." Mm. Uh, Penny says, "It's going to be 80 in Knoxville, Tennessee. Wow." I work from home. And my dog is in my lap trying to help me work faster Aww. so we can get outside. I don't think <laughs> the dog's helping That's you That's not all. helpful. <laughs> Sky says, how about a praline today. and cream flavor? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I, I'm not a praline fan, so. I am, though. Mm. Then it says, Miriam, does Chris remember Jen B's birthday? Hint, next holiday. Is it on? Mm. Is it on uh, St. Patrick's Day? It's on our calendar of somewhere. Hmm. Is anyway. it on St. Patrick's Day? I don't know. Virginia says, I'd love to see an art story of Keto Chow. Uh, let's see. Rana says, Morning Bears and Chow fam. Happy Friday. Chris, thanks for helping me out with the brain fart on GKI. I knew it, but I just couldn't think of it at the time. Jerry says, Cinnamon Bears or Cinnamon Bears? Well, bears. Cinnamon Gummies. Now, with the two Crazy Keto's recipe, we can make it keto. Woohoo! Uh, Matt says, I took two years of French in high school and have regretted not taking Spanish since then. I agree it should be either Spanish or Chinese. I mean, if you're going to use it, those two languages are going to be the most useful. Kendra says I'm they sure took French, French is useful too. bought a Betamax, and never took typing because I was going to be an artist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rita says there's a local elementary here that does that in Spanish, the immersion. Oh, that's cool. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, and just think of, like, thinking about our... Uh, location like we just have a lot of people that we come do. Up from Mexico and mm -hmm. so it just makes or sense. other parts of South America. Mm -hmm. um, Deb says, "What is football?" Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Liz says, "I just ordered a mini waffle maker so I can make Steve's tuna chaffle." Nice. Uh, Liz says, "My son has been doing Chinese immersion for six years. He can easily carry on a conversation in Chinese. That's, That's so awesome. cool." Uh, let's see, Lori says, you guys make my day. Rick one says, I took two years of French and two years of Latin ah. in high school. Used my French when I went to Europe, uh, though with a southern accent. <laughs> That's awesome. I, uh, I knew a guy who was from, I think it was Joplin, Missouri, when I w lived in, in Chile. And he had the strongest southern accent I have ever heard in Spanish. That's like funny. the guy didn't even try. <laughs> his his uh, grammar, his Spanish grammar was good, but his pronunciation was just terrible, and he just didn't care. <laughs> nice guy though. Uh, let's see. Um, Carrie says I should have learned Chinese when stocking the mandarin oranges. I never understood them. You're right. <laughs> Becca says my kid did an immersion program in German in first grade, but oh, it went completely cool. over my son's head. Mm. Deb says, I took eight years of French. That's what happens when you grow up on the East Coast. Yep. Nancy That's says, cool. you talk of chaffles. New to this keto lifestyle. What oh, is a chaffle? You're today's one at lucky 10,000. So, 
And that's to Miriam's point. <laughs> never, never make fun of someone who is learning something about about something for the first time. Just because every we day, knew it doesn't mean yes. it's not important to so, share it with you. Chawful. So this is on our recipes page. Yep. And well, here's the original recipe there, where we we actually have a video where it shows Miriam making it. It's cheese. It's shredded mozzarella cheese mixed mm -hmm. with eggs. And you, a scoop of keto. And cow. you can use cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese you it want. It just doesn't work we as well. The like, low moisture mozzarella cheese. We like mozzarella because it doesn't isn't have a strong flavor either. So then it tastes more like that. bread. But we have multiple chaffel pepperoni um, pizza. Recipes. What the heck? Well, those are just the uh, those are just a bunch of the uh, savory ones. But yeah. literally any flavor of keto chow works like a charm. See, this one has cream cheese in it. Yep. So you can just play with it. And uh, the what we like to use is a Dash Mini Waffle Maker. They're like six bucks or something. Yeah. And they work so they well. They work really well. And it's just this little tiny thing. And you can just make one or two and then be done and yep. have delicious. Makes ego sized waffles. Mm -hmm. Comes off every time. You can also get some of that uh, grilling cheese. Yeah, the halloumi. Oh boy, Jeez. that's fantastic. And put it in there. Uh, another thing is, like, you can, if you make them savory, they're really great as bread. Or as uh, hamburger buns. Hamburger buns, yeah. Yep. So, welcome, Nancy. To it's chapels. a whole new world for you. A whole new world. <laughs> he says, thanks for jinxing me. Ray says, I just tried Irish cream for the first time yesterday and loved it. it is It is challenging chocolate mint and toffee for the first place. Mm. Betsy says, the building I live in is 80% Chinese and none of them speak English, so I wish I knew more than to uh, say hi. Esther says, I lived hi. in Spain for four years. A lack of use has left me understanding more than I speak in Spanish. Mm. Um, yep. <laughs> he says we hired a tour guide one time when we were in Mexico, and he advertised himself as speaking HBO English. That's funny. That's awesome. Uh, Visual Q says, so I'm going to try my mini food processor now that I've seen Steve use his to chop up the mozzarella. Nice. Oh, that's a good way to chop up mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Just chop, chop, toss it in a food processor rather, rather than shredded cheese. It's chopped up cheese. Yeah. So, anything you want to talk about today? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, Kathy says, I moved to Washington State from New Jersey and have an accent. I'm always asked where I'm from. I say coffee. I say coffee and wooter. Um, one of, there's a meme, speaking of Jersey, there's a meme going around the internet of, if you watch such and such movie backwards, it's about this. That's so funny. And my favorite one is, if you watch the Karate, karate kid, kid backwards, it's about a karate mm. champion who slowly turns into a weakling and ends up moving back to Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, if you watch Jaws backward, it's about this um, amazing shark that goes around spitting out people onto the beach until they reopen it. Oh, okay. Well, that, that works. <laughs> anyway. And we want to go scuba diving. Yay. Yep. Dorothy says, hmm, I have a large waffle maker. But I might buy a mini. Yeah, the mini one works so much better they work than so the large good. ones. Yeah. Serious Kiyo says, I mix the mozzarella with my dry ingredients in the mini food processor. It makes better batter. Oh, that's Bigger, cool. better batter. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. John says, if you're new to keto and chaffles, you should also try a chocolate egg pudding. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That's Maria Emmerich's um, yes, it is. chocolate pudding. Yep. And of note... Um, she now says that you can either use hard-boiled eggs or you can scramble the eggs mm -hmm. and then just toss them in anyway. Okay, well, we're going to take off, everybody. You have yep. a fantastic day. Be kind to yourself. Okay, bye. Bye.